First things first, you have your water. Get your water. It is hot. It is hot. All right. So we're going to do a nice flow today, but we're going to be uh, conscious of the heat. Um, it is currently 92 degrees in here. So we're going to be taking water breaks throughout to keep ourselves nice and hydrated. Really quick, quick splashes of water to keep us nice and cool um, after we come out of some of these elongated positions. However, today is going to be a real epitome of flow. So I'm really, really going to be pushing the flow envelope today because it's so hot. We have been doing a lot of deeper breathing, um, holding for eight. Today is going to be an uh, entire three hold. We might do some, well, we get down into the plank and we'll, of course, do eight in that position. The majority of the positions today is going to be a nice flow so we don't burn ourselves out. We'll do a nice um, um, three to five second hold, no more than that, okay? All right. <clears throat> That's fine. Before we find center, just loosen up a little bit. I'm going to do this one today because it's so warm. All right, guys. Start to find center now. Mm, done your movements, got your body used to him saying, hey, we're about to start moving around body. You've been sedentary all day. Or whatever you've been doing at your body, hey, we're going to get into some motion. We're about to do some yoga. We're going to lose the socks really quick today, I can tell you that. I'm actually going to probably start off with the socks lost. Uh, let's go ahead and lose those bad boys right now. <laughs> Let's find center, feet straight. Might be a little uncomfortable until we get used to it. Feet exactly straight, might feel like they need to turn in like that, but they're actually not. And press the breath in. Really find center today, reach up and exhale down. Right into the center of that chest. Find that heart rate. You, Namaste. Greetings once again. Namaste. Need to find some of these twice a day. <clears throat> Let's get straight into the flow right now. We need it. Let's let the yoga talk for us today. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to be doing a lot of moving and breathing. We've done this. This is week three. So you guys are very up to speed. You know what to do. You know where to breathe. So let's just have some uh, flow today. All right. And we always start with the um, warrior one and warrior two on the second uh, session. All right. Let's go. Let's go do that again. Just a forward bend here. Make sure your feet aren't clutching the ground. Those feet are nice and loose. Walking out into camel. Just a reminder. Out into our first downward dog. Trans Shadaranga transitioning from downward dog into push up position just to get the body warm. Thank 
turned into a stimmy. Down we're dog. Now I'm stretching through the hamstrings, through the quad, through the lower back, elongating my body from being compressed in my seat all day. Shifting the weight from one foot to the other, trying to push that heel down as I stretch through those hamstrings. And I'm going to be using quite a bit this moment. And bending at the knee, coming down into hydrant position so we can go into cat and cow. I'm going to keep my feet on the ball, as you can see on the ball of my foot, my feet are high down. Cleansing breath in with a big broad chest. For cow, exhale, round the back for cat. can go audible breath or trans breath, which means in through the nose, up through the mouth. Or just in through the nose and up through the nose. And back up into downward dog. Walking my hands and feet to me, back into camel. You can see I have a soft knee, that's okay. Just keeping those feet straight. Just come in to forward bend. Cleanse some breath in as we bend. Exhale as we get our shoulders high. Into push up pose. Deep closing breath in into three legged plank. Back down with three breaths today. We're going to put the breath in. Exhale out. So really help anyone that's hit having any problems with their breathing, this will help. Cleansing breath in for our first position of prison pose. Exhale, foot plants, knee plants, foot lies down. We come up nice and tall, pushing our chin up to the ceiling so we have that perfect line coming down through that quad and the inside of that <clears throat> abductor and hip flexor. Take the time if you want to brace yourself here to transition outside. If not, stay up. Two and three breaths. Foot comes back under as we take a deep breath in and exhale as your foot comes back. Transition, cleanse the breath in. Foot lies down. You exhale. ourselves again. Outside elbow comes down. And three breaths. And back up. Cleansing breath in as the foot comes back up and knee lifts. Exhale as the foot comes back. 
Very nice. As we shot a rango. And you can use knees if you choose. Come into plank pose. Only one that we're going to keep eight breaths. Keep that pelvis up nice and high. Use that core. Draw it in. Shadowrunga back into your hands, back into down with dog, and walking the hands to meet, back into camel. Soft knee at camel. And once we start to get even warmer, we can extend, but not lock. And drag those hands in, forward bend, and sweeping up. Exhale right at the top. Now we're going to get into warrior one, warrior two for the first time. Sweeping out right into. <clears throat> now we're going to start to really flow. Bring that foot in, keep breath in, and planting, coming up for warrior one. All your power. Sweeping down, powering up, rotating that foot in, exhaling up for warrior two. Bringing that leg in and extending out and turning and opening for triangle pose. As we take our deep breath in, we bring the hand down and rotate the back foot at the same time. Both hands come in as we bring the foot down, lie it down, and as we exhale, put the hand here for up lizard. When we're doing our flow, left and right side go completely <clears throat> as a flow. So the right side goes completely, and the left side goes completely. We don't break it down as we're, all, as we're warming up. And come on down. Oh. Deep breath in, once we bring the foot up, and exhale out. Transition as we come down, deep breath in. As we exhale, and push back out and up. Well, now we're starting to get into our real flow. Nice, deep breath in, as it comes down. Exhale, as the foot plants. Lift into warrior one. Nice and deep as we come down, up as the foot rotates. Line up that foot heel to heel into warrior two. Draw down as you come in and down as you turn and open. Good, as we rotate down, the foot bends, rotates as we plant, foot plants, we exhale, come into uplift. Again, keeping that chin up. You'll feel that when you, as you lift that chin, it draws down through that inside cable. And the foot, the elbow out and down. If that transition, stay into up lizard. Up. Deep breath in as we lift and exhale. Back out and knees come right down. Now we're going to go into the foot lying down into a much bolder cat and cow. Deep breath in here 
really there. And as we exhale into cat, now we're gonna use the, the whole entire body to move. As I draw back, opening my rib cage even more. Pushing forward, engaging my core even. That's why the exhalation needs to be very bold. So we draw back, opening that rib cage at the highest point right there, and exhaling. Beautiful. Bring the feet back underneath. Let's bring the knees back in. Transition either on the knees or back down onto the elbow. Elbow plank. Again, transitioning either on the knees or back to the hands, Chaturanga back up. Beautiful. Now, from downward dog, you can float, hop, or walk back into camel position. Hands nice and wide if you're gonna float, bend that knee. Full camel, diamond all the way down, legs are extended. Sweep. Exhale and come into center. Very nice, Namaste. Excellent work, guys. Take this time to hydrate. Now, <clears throat> as we're doing the flow, we're going to take this time to go ahead and do each side. Back to back um, to kind of smell. Actually, we have time for our cool down now. That'll be something that I'll say for next time. I was actually getting a little pumped for that. We got actually three in this time. Excellent work, guys. We're, getting, we're going faster now um, and getting everything in that we need to. All right, so come on down, take a knee. Come into prayer position. Whether your prayer position at this point is a towel or your prayer position be um, here, feet crossed. Feet up with a towel either in between you and your legs or a towel on the ground and you rest in your ankles there. Or if you want to sit cross leg, you can do the same thing with the towel either between you and your legs or on the ground you're sitting on the top. So one of those variations that you can choose. All right. One down. Out and send the feet around. We're going to go into uh, actually, I want to go into pigeon pose um, uh, for our cool down today, forward pigeon pose as opposed to happy baby. Um, I think we need to relax those hips a little bit more. So let's go into um, forward pigeon, <coughs> which is very relaxing as well. Cool down with a nice relax. So come back into hydrant pose just like this. And we're going to come up and take one knee. And you're going to walk back and put it across the other knee. Right, right. Just like that. Okay. And then once you got that, walk it up a little bit. And then go ahead. 
uh, ankle just released. I screwed up a little bit here. And go ahead. Normally I say don't lie down, but we want this to be a little bit more relaxing. So if it turns in just a little bit, no big deal. Ideally, I would have you guys keep the knee off of the ground because it's more of a complete stretch. But we're in our cool down right now. And I'm not going to put you up any further. So extend that back right now. And I know your body wants to lean off to one side. Try to use your hand to push yourself back up. Stay upright just for the first 15 to 20 seconds. All right, so we can get a little deeper into that stretch, all right? And the beautiful thing about this, the only thing that's being engaged is this arm right here. Nothing else is being engaged except for that arm that's pushing off and keeping you upright. Do a tricep burn for you at the end. And five, four, three, two. Oh. Ah. Now I'm going to take that elbow and I'm going to line it up, this knee. Try to keep this foot as straight as possible. As I sit down now, ah, very nice. And relax into it. Give me 30 seconds here. And 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. How you come out of it? This is really cool. You just slide this foot back all the way till it gets to that knee, and then bring it on over. Oh, can't beat that. All right, same thing, other side. Come on up. Walk that foot over past the knee. Lie down. Use that hand to keep you upright for the first 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Wow. Did you hear that symphony? Holy schmick schmucks. Oh. Wow, symphony. Elbow in front, lined up with the knee. Oh, 30, 29, 28, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. <sighs> Excellent work, guys. Okay. Come back up. Excellent session, as always. Thank you for joining me.